Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this awesome song called Rockefeller Street. Okay, so I'll be teaching you two sections in this lesson. The first section is the pre-chorus section, the second section is that very catchy chorus section. It goes like this, give you a preview of both sections back to back, it goes like this. So here we go, let's learn the first section first, that's the pre-chorus section. It's really easy, it's like a particular motive played for two times in turn. Okay, so the first part goes like this, right hand starts on the D here, middle C, go up an octave C, to the D here, play this D for four times. One, two, three, four, E flat, D, C, down to F sharp, up to D. And after that, once again, it goes four Ds. One, two, three, four, E flat, and then D, C, and down to G. D. Okay, that's it. Okay, one more time. So right hand goes D, 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 E flat, D, C, F sharp, D, and then D, 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 E flat, C, D, C, G, D, like that. Okay, just like that. Okay, yeah, so like this. Like that. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are D major. D, F sharp, A, and the second chord is G minor, which is G, B flat, D. So with these two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this, goes like this, really simple, it just goes F sharp and D major, just get up, and then G and G minor together, like that. Let's repeat it for a total of two times, so repeat again. So yeah, you can see there's a pattern going on, you know how it's like da 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 You play that on the da on the chord, and then the other one is also you play it on that same kind of like motif. Okay, it's like ta ta and you repeat it. Now let's move on to the other section, okay, the chorus section. Okay, so this chorus section. Uh, here we go. Let's break it up to two parts, but actually the two parts have like just a very awesome like common pattern in each other. So once you learn the first part, it should be easy for the second part. Okay, right hand goes like this: five Ds, one, two, three, four, five, and then it goes E flat, E flat, and then three more fast E flats, and then it goes seven Ds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then five C's, one, two, three, four, five, up to E flat, and then D, B flat, G. That's it for the right hand for this first part of this chorus section, okay? So one more time, it goes like this, five D's, one, two, three, four, five, and then E flat, E flat, three E flats, seven D's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five C's, one, two, three, four, five, E flat, D, B flat, G. And that's it for the right hand for the first part. Once you get that, Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are E flat major, which is E flat G B flat. Second chord is B flat major, which is B flat D F. Third chord is D minor, which is D F A. And then the fourth chord is G minor, which is G B flat D. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so E flat major, B flat major, D minor, and G minor. Two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts. E flat and E flat major just get up. D and B flat major just get up. C and D minor to get up. B flat and G minor to get up. Like that. And that is that for the first part. One more time it goes. Just like that. And that's the first part. The second part is actually pretty much exactly the same as the first part. The only difference is the right hand. Okay? We don't play the first five Ds and we don't play that last note G. Okay? Remember that. So, because it's pretty much the same as the first part without the first five D notes and then without the last G note on the right hand, okay? So, remember that and it'll just go like this, the second part. Like that, okay? So, just finish on the B flat and the G minor chord without the extra G note on the right hand, okay? So these patterns are very important, allows to learn stuff a lot quicker, okay? Like this for the second part. One more time. that. 
So back to back, the two parts of this section will be played like this, so you can compare it right now and see how it's connected. Okay, something optional for you to think about, okay? For this particular chorus section, some people actually prefer the, uh, comp like, not using the D minor chord instead of using the D major chord, which is D, F sharp, A. That sounds good as well. Like, I actually like the D major chord a little bit more as well, right? Um, so, you can try that out for yourself. So, you need to be like... D major. Yeah, it gives a bit of, like, the... Okay a different kind of feel towards it, okay? But anyways, yeah, so you can try that off yourself. It's personal preference. If you like that sound better, then do the D major instead of D minor. But if you like the D minor better, just do D minor, okay? But anyways, so yeah, once you get both sections very good, all the notes, all the melody, chords, or the rhythm, then you can start to think about the improvisation and decoration patterns you can put into it to make it more awesome. For example, left hand, you can do like these like rhythmic patterns, or you can even do like octave and arpeggio patterns on the chords, okay? It's gonna be like something like this. And I'm seeing. patterns okay but everything is still based off the melody in chords i taught you in this lesson everything else are just decorations okay but anyway if you want to learn more about how to do all this kind of stuff i teach you all my piano courses check it out in the description below my website bestpianomethod.com where you can learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music and a lot of other cool stuff so make sure to check that out also check out the rest of my channel if you like these step-by-step -step lessons because literally i have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these videos for you to enjoy and learn from so most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel but anyway, that's pretty much it as for now. Enjoy time on my channel and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.